Okay. File item 223, Senator Hernandez, not at his desk. File item 224, Senator Canella, not at his desk. File item 232, Senator Glazer. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1423 by Assemblymember Mark Stone, okay. an act going to medical treatment of prisoners. Mr. President uh, and members, AB 1423 will ensure that an appropriate qualified person is designated to act on behalf of a medically or mentally compromised prisoner. This bill uh, has enjoyed bipartisan and unanimous support, and I ask for your I vote. Members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Anderson? Bates? Aye. Bell? Berryhill? Block? Aye. Canella? De Leon? Fuller? Gaines? Aye. Aye. Galgioni? Aye. Glazer? Aye. Hall? Aye. Hancock? Aye. Hernandez? Hertzberg? Hill? Aye. Aye. Hueso, Huff, Jackson, I Lada, Leno, I Leva, Lou, McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, Monty, I Morlock, I Morell, I Wynn, I Nilsson, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, Stone, I Vidak, I Wykowski, I Wolk, Wolk I. Secretary, call absent members. Anderson I, Bell, Berryhill, Canella, De Leon, Fuller, Hernandez, Hertzberg, I, Hueso, Huff, Lada, Leva, Lou, Mitchell, Runner. Senator Glazer moves the call. Members will move to uh, file item 199. Uh, Senator Galgiani, Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 852 by Assemblymember Burke and Ackerling to Public Works. Galgiani. Senator Galgiani. Excuse us. Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members. AB 852 expands the definition of public works to include construction, alteration, demolition, installation, or repair work on a general acute care hospital project that is paid for using a tax-exempt conduit revenue bond issued on or after January 1st of next year. The bill before you today is a narrower version of a previous measure and now has no opposition. AB 852 will ensure that workers on these publicly subsidized projects are paid a livable wage and that most, the most skilled and qualified workers are building these complex medical facilities. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Great. Thank you, Senator Gauciani. Uh, any debate or discussion? Any debate or discussion? Secretary, please call the roll. Alan. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Senator Stone had his mic up. Got it up just in the risk, uh, benefit of time here. Uh, I regretfully have to oppose AB 852 as the Vice Chair of Labor. Uh, this is a special circumstance where we are actually using non-taxpayer money uh, for private hospitals and requiring the utilization of prevailing wage. Uh, right now in, in, my, in my district, in Riverside County, we have a shortage of hospitals. We have a shortage of hospital beds. This is going to dramatically increase the cost of building hospitals by approximately 30 percent, and this is going to make the difference between more hospitals being built or less hospitals being built. So uh, my goal is to build more hospitals and to do them cost effectively, and this is going to increase the costs significantly, which will continue to uh, erode our hospital bed to patient ratio. For those reasons, I urge a no vote. Thank you, Senator Stone. Um, me members, any further discussion or debate? Seeing none, uh, Secretary Galgiani, would you like to close? S Senator Galgiani. 
This bill actually has an exemption for hospitals with 76 beds or less, and I think that will be important to some of the smaller rural communities, like Senator Stone's community. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Thank you, Senator Gaugiani. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Aye. Anderson? No. No, Bates? No, Bell? Aye, Berryhill? Block? Aye. Aye, Canella? De Leon? Fuller? Gaines? No. No, Gaugiani? Aye. Aye, Glazer? Aye, Hall? Aye. Aye, Hancock? Aye. Aye, Hernandez? Aye, Aye Hertzberg? Aye. Aye, Hill? Aye, Hueso? Huff? Jackson? Aye, Lada? Aye, Leno? I Leva, Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, Monning, I Morlock, No Morell, No Win, No Nielsen, No Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, Stone, No Vidak, No Wykowski, I Walk, Walk I. Senator Gauciani moves the call. Okay. Members will now um, move to file item 234, Senator Mendoza. Pass on file. Uh, file item 235. Um, I don't know who that is on that. Senator Roth. Senator Roth. File item 235. Pass on file. Oh, okay. Amendments on 235. Amendments on 235. Okay. Uh, file item 237. Wynn. Senator Wen. Senator Wen? Yeah, file item 237. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1534 by the Committee on Revenue and Taxation, an act relating to taxation. Senator Wen. Thank you, Mr. President. Currently, training is not required for employees that determine whether a property has changed ownership or is eligible for an exemption. However, these decisions can potentially add or eliminate millions of dollars from tax rolls each year. AB 1534 by the Assembly Committee on Revenue and Taxation addresses this problem by establishing a program that would ensure that employees making decisions on changes in ownerships or tax exemptions are accurately trained and educated. So I, um, AB, um, it also has received no no votes and, and no opposition either. Uh, I, actually res I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Senator Wen. <laughs> Members, any debate or discussion? Well, Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Okay. Aye. Anderson. Aye. aye. Bates. Aye. aye. Bell. Aye. aye. Berryhill. Block. Aye. Canella. I. De Leon. I. Fuller. Gaines. Galjani. I. Glazer. I. Hall. I. Hancock. Hernandez. I. Hertzberg. I. Hill. I. Hueso. I. Huff. I. Jackson. I. Lada. I. Leno. I. Leva. I. Lou. I. McGuire. I. Mendoza. I. Mitchell. Monning, I Morlock, I Morell, I Win, I Nielsen, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, I Stone, I Vidak, I Wykowski, I Wolk, Wolk I Hancock I. Please call the absent members. Barry Hill, Fuller, Gaines, I I Mitchell. Ice 37, no zero, measure passes. We will be announcing the votes uh, here on out.
File item 240, Senator Hill. Pass on file. File item 241, Senator Hill. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 178 by Assemblymember Bonilla and Aquiline Healing Arts and declaring the urge thereof to take effect immediately. Senator Hill. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President uh, and members. AB 178 implements one of the recommendations from the March Oversight Sunset Review hearings held by the Senate Business Professions and Economic Development Committee and Assembly Business and Professions Committee. The bill simply removes the requirement under current law that the executive officer of the Board of Vocational Nursing and Psychiatric Technicians be a licensed professional. The bill has no opposition. I respectfully ask for your aye vote, members. Thank you, Senator Hill. Uh, members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. I. Anderson. I. Bates. I. Bell. I. Berryhill. Block. I. Canella. I. De Leon. I. Fuller. Gaines. Aye. I. Galgioni. I. Glazer. I. Hall. I. Hancock. I. Hernandez. I. Hertzberg. I. Hill. I. Hueso. I. Huff. I. Jackson. I. Lada. I. Leno. I. Leva. I. Lou. I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Monning, I Morlock, I Morell, I Wynn, I Nilsson, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, I Stone, No, Vidak, I Wykowski, I Wolk. Wolk, I. Secretary, please call the absent members. Barry Hill, Fuller. Uh, ice 37 knows one on urgency. Ice 37 knows one on the measure. Members will now move to file item 42, Senator Hill. 242, excuse me. Pass on file. Uh, file item 243, Senator Hill. Pass on file. File item 245. Senator Wen, Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 303 by Assemblymember Gonzalez and act relating to searches. Senator Wen. Thank you, Mr. President. AB 303 will strain current law to prevent the unnecessary interaction between inmates and officers of the opposite sex when a strip search has been conducted at a juvenile detention center in California. AB 303 will clarify who can and cannot be within sight of an inmate being stripped searched. Civil rights organization, law enforcement groups both support this measure and there have been no opposition to this measure. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Members, any debate or discussion? No, we are down to 30 seconds. Members, would there be any objection to unanimous roll call? Hearing and seeing none, ICE 36, no zero, measure passes. Members, uh, yeah, we'll move now to file item 246, yeah. Senator McGuire. Are you prepared to bring this item forward, AB 376? Okay, pass on file. Uh, file item 249, Senator McGuire. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 429 by Assemblymember Dolly, an act relating to public contracts. Senator McGuire. Thank you so much, Mr. President, and good afternoon. AB 429 has received no, no votes thus far. Uh, this bill provides a preference for lumber that is harvested sustainably, assuming price, fitness, and quality are equal by either comparing the Zeberg Nigality Practice Act the rules governing federal timber sales, there will be a trivia after this, or a forest certification program approved by CAL FIRE. While Cal Fire, Cal Fi, California has some of the strictest environmental standards in the world for harvesting timber, the state can often purchase lumber outside the state or even country that may not adhere to our higher environmental standards. This bill establishes a bid preference for lumber and other wood products that is harvested in a sustainable manner would respectfully ask for your I vote. 
Thank you, Senator McGuire. Members, any debate or discussion? Any debate or discussion? Seeing none, members, would there be any objection to unanimous roll call? Yes. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Anderson. Aye. Bates. Aye. Bell. Berryhill. Block. Aye. Canella. Aye. De Leon. Fuller. Gaines. Aye. Aye. Galgioni. Aye. Glazer. Hall. Glazer. Aye. Hall. Aye. Hancock. Aye. Hernandez. Aye. Hertzberg. Aye. Hill. Hueso. Hill. Aye. Hueso. Aye. Huff. I Jackson, I Lada, I Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I I Mendoza, I Mitchell, I Monning, Morlock, I Morell, I Win, I Nielsen, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I I Runner, I Stone. I Vidak, I Wykowski, I Wolk, Wolk I. Secretary, please call the absent members. Allen, Bell, Berryhill, De Leon, Fuller, Monning. Ice 34, no zero. Measure passes. Members will now move to file item 251. Senator Lara, Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 530 by Assemblymember Rendon, an act relating to the Los Angeles River. Great. Senator Lara. Thank you, Mr. President, members. AB 530 requires the Secretary of Natural Resources to coordinate with the LA County Board of Supervisors to appoint a local working group to develop a revitalization plan for the lower river portion of the LA River watershed. For many years, the City of Los Angeles has done a great job of creating a revitalization plan and invested considerable resources into restoring the portions of the Alley River that flows through its borders, primarily the upper river. Unfortunately, work on the lower river has lagged behind. Currently, there is not a revitalization plan for the lower river portion of the Alley River, which uh, the portion which, of which Senator, uh, Senator Rendon and I um, uh, represent and hope to change through AB 530. Although the LA County adopted a master plan for the entire Alley River in 1996, which included a few projects for the cities along the lower river, there is no, now uh, a need for a comprehensive revitalization plan that focuses more attention and resources on the south, uh, Southeast LA County cities, which uh, again, I represent, I respectfully ask for your I vote. Great, thank you, Senator Lara. Members, any debate or discussion? Senator Morlock? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just a question for the author or the representative. Senator Lara, are you prepared to answer a question? Then yes. may I ask four questions, Mr. President? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> we just approved expansion of another committee that related to the Los Angeles River, and we've got a committee that's on the upper part of the river. Uh, why do we need another committee for the lower part of the river. You, you kind of touched on it, but it, it seems like we're in this session creating a lot of committees and somewhere someone somehow might have said, let's blow up some boxes, but we're creating a lot of boxes. So I'm just curious why a, a, an existing committee can't absorb this opportunity. Well, the irony of the person who said that you wanted to blow up more boxes actually ended up creating more boxes but that's another story. Uh, this is actually just to uh, encourage the LA County to create this, update the revitalization plan that currently doesn't take into consideration the lower part of the LA River. If you see the LA River and you see the portion of which the, LA, the city of LA represents, I mean, it is flourishing. It is, up, it is you know, returning back to its natural habitat. Unfortunately, that's not the same uh, once the river leaves the city of LA and enters into my district and Assembly Rendon's district. So what we're asking is the LA County Supervisors is to update the revitalization plan to include uh, uh, the work product that will focus solely on the, LA, the lower river part of it. So it's not 
creating a separate committee. It's asking them to update the revitalization plan to include the lower river part. Okay, the way I read it, it looked like we wanted to add a new committee with new staffing and, and administrative costs. So um, that, that had me uh, a, a little concerned. Um, I, I apologize, yeah. Mr. President, I lost my three other questions. <laughs> I'll be right here. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Morlock. Uh, members, any further debate or discussion? Seeing none, uh, sec uh, Senator Lara, would you like to close? Members, thank you. Again, this is an important bill for those of us that uh, represent the lower part of the Alley River, ensuring that we have the proper infrastructure and the resources that we need to ensure that the entire Alley River continues uh, to be not only uh, a viable river, but that we continue to provide the resources, especially at the lower part of the river where we have many working communities that deserve to have a vibrant river. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Thank you, Senator Lara. Now, members, uh, is there any objection to a unanimous roll call on this item? Senator Morlock, any objection to unanimous roll call on this item? Ice 37, no zero, measure passes. Members will move to uh, file item 253, Senator Mendoza. Pass on file. File item 255, Senator Block. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 601 by Assemblymember Eggman and Act Relating to Health Facilities. Senator Block. Thank you, Mr. President. AB 601 is a consumer protection bill that will provide more transparency for residential care facilities for the elderly, also known as RCFEs. The bill requires an applicant for an RCFE license to disclose detailed information regarding all facilities they have owned, managed, or operated, including facilities in another state, and their history of compliance with all applicable laws. The Department of Social Services then has to cross-check the applicant's information with the Par Department of Public Health to ensure that the applicant doesn't have any history of non-compliance or penalties with facilities under the Department of Public Health's jurisdiction. This is one more important step to protect seniors from unscrupulous RCFEs. The bill has received bipartisan support and has no opposition. I ask for your I vote. Thank you, Senator Block. Members, any debate? or discussion? Any debaters discussion? Members, any objection to a unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37, no zero, measure passes. Members, we'll move to um, file item 256, Senator Wachowski. This is uh, AB 610. Pass on file. Members uh, will move to file item 258, Senator Hall. This is AB 621. Pass on file. Uh, this is uh, 258. Pass on file. Members will move to file item 259, Senator Pan. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 652 by Assemblymember Cooley, an act relating to state highways. Senator Pan. Thank you, Mr. President, Senators. I rise today to present AB 652 relating to State Route 16. This is a district bill to relinquish a portion of State Route 16 to Sacramento, within Sacramento County in order to improve the route in advance of major new economic development in the area. Relinquishing this portion of SR 16 to Sacramento County is necessary to improve and expand the highway. Caltrans has no plans to improve the road beyond routine maintenance. This bill has passed the Assembly and State uh, Senate uh, committees with strong bipartisan support. I respectfully ask for an I vote. Members, any debate or discussion? Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Anderson. Bate. Aye. Bates. Bell. Berryhill, 
I Block, I Canella, I De Leon, Fuller, Gaines, I, I Galgiani, I Glazer, I Hall, I Hancock, I Hernandez, I Hertzberg, I Hill, I Hueso, I Huff, Jackson, I Lada, I Leno, I Leva, I Lou, I McGuire, I Mendoza, I Mitchell, Monty, I Morlock, Morell, I Win, I Nilsson, I Pan, I Pavley, I Roth, I Runner, I Stone, I Vidak, I Wachowski, I Wolk. Wolk, I. Secretary, please call the absent members. Allen, I. Bates, I. Bell, De Leon, Fuller, Huff, Mitchell, Morlock. I. Ice 35, no zero, measure passes. Members, we're gonna look at the next uh, five uh, items here. File item 260, 263, 264, 269, and 276. Starting with file item 260, Senator Bell, not at his desk. Uh, file item 263, uh, pass on file. File item 264, Senator Block, pass on file. File item 269, Senator Jackson. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 913 by Assemblymember Santiago and accolading to student safety. Senator Jackson. Thank you, Mr. President and uh, colleagues. Yesterday, uh, Governor Brown signed my SB 186 into law, a measure focused on holding students accountable for off-campus sexual violence. This bill was part of my continuing commitment to address college sexual assault. Our legislature has been committed to addressing the epidemic of campus violence by passage of such legislation. As part of this effort, AB 913 by Assemblymember Santiago will ensure campus and local law enforcement agencies have agreements in place that outline responsibilities related to sexual assaults and hate crimes. These crimes are a serious problem on our campuses. These agreements can help protect students, address the needs of survivors, and ensure prompt, thorough, and fair responses to allegations of misconduct. The bill has enjoyed strong bipartisan support and has no opposition. I would respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Senator Jackson. Members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, members, would there be any objection to unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37, no zero, measure passes. Members will now move to file item 276, Senator Fuller, not at her desk. File item 282, Senator Wolk. This is AB 1321. I wasn't paying attention. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 1321 by Assembly Member Ting and Ackling to Food and Agriculture. Thank Senator Wolk. Thank you, Mr. President. AB 1321 will expand access to the California grown fruits and vegetables by creating a framework for the state to capture a $100 million, $100 million in federal funds that have been set aside for this purpose. Other states have already successfully modeled this framework. Um, including the state of Washington, which was really recently awarded almost six million to help low-income families afford fresh produce. The bill scales up successful programs that have been pioneered by nonprofit organizations to double their purchasing power for things such as CalFresh, when they buy fresh locally grown produce at farmers markets. There are over a hundred agriculture, anti-poverty, public health, and community organizations in support of the bill bipartisan support, and it will leverage those federal funds to generate positive outcomes in communities. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Thank you, Senator Wolk. Members, any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Secretary, please call the roll. Allen. Aye. Anderson. 
No, Bates. No, Bell. I, Berryhill. Block. I, Canella. I, De Leon. Fuller. Gaines. Galjoni. I, Glazer. I, Hall. I, Hancock. I, Hernandez. I, Hertzberg. I, Hill. I, Hueso. I, Huff. Jackson. I, Lada. Leno. I, Leba. I, Lou. I, McGuire. I, Mendoza. I, Mitchell. Monning. I, Morlock. Morrell. No, Wynn. Nelson. No, Pan. I, Pavley. I, Roth. I, Runner. No, Stone. No, Vidak. I, Wachowski. I, Wolk. Wolk, I. Secretary, please call the absent members. Barry Hill. De Leon. Fuller. Gaines. Huff. I. Lada. I. Mitchell. I. Morlock. No. Win. Barry Hill, I. Ice 29, no 7, measure passes. Members, uh, we're now going to look at file items 285, 287, 289, 293, and 297, starting with file item 285, Senator Monning. Pass on file. File item 287, Senator Lara. AV 1461. 